Hi there. Many thanks for joining us as we endeavor to inspire the next generation of African entrepreneurs. My name is Victor Otieno, the Managing Director of FIFA Consult, an organization that was born out of my passion for the African entrepreneurs. Our goal and mission is to unlock the entrepreneurial spirit that is in Africa. We know that 70% of organizations in Africa or startups do not live to celebrate their 30th birthday. This is due to a variety of factors. In today's session, we are discussing access to finance. And to help us unpack this particular uh, important topic is Johnson Terry, Corporate Finance Manager, ABC Capital. Haribu Sana Johnson. Thank you. Uh, Johnson, we know that um, there, is challenge, there is a challenge both from demand and supply side of capital. Uh, by demand, I mean the small SMEs require money, and by supply, I mean uh, financial institutions. In your opinion, what do you think are uh, the most uh, critical challenges that financial institutions face when it comes to, ac uh, to accessing capital to small businesses? First of all, because of the, the size of the loans that um, small businesses usually require, um, they require quite a bit. And um, the, reason, the, the reason it's a challenge is because now when it comes to administration versus, versus um, management, uh, SMEs now command a lot more resources. Because, uh, for example, I'll give an example. If I was lending Nakumat, there's one guy, right? I'm lending him uh, two billion, right? I'm charging him 14%. And I'll be able to collect um, 280 million. But to manage that, I only need two or three people. But for a small SME, I'm lending you one million. Uh, for me to reach the, the same revenue space uh, on an average of one million shilling loans, or 10 million shilling loans, or even 20 million shilling loans, I need a lot more personnel. I need the credit officers and, and, and the payment, the, the management of the entire thing becomes very expensive. That's the first thing. The second thing is that the smaller businesses are typically more risky. Why? Because they're not established. right? So they're not able to command the resources, especially human capital that is required. And the most important resource in any business is human capital. So they're, they're not able to command the human resources required to, to you know, uh, run a sustainable ship, you know. Uh, as they grow, some of them, will, like you said earlier on, some will fall on the wayside, and it's expected. And, and that's a problem right there, uh, because banks lend depositors money. Uh, losing money is not an excuse, so they have to find a way to protect themselves. And it's a very, very uh, complicated uh, process because of legal considerations, financial considerations, and even human considerations. So there's a lot that goes into lending small businesses, um, much, much more than big, bigger businesses. Um, and that's why it's a bit tough for them to access funding. Nevertheless, uh, I think uh, there, are, there, are, there are viable business sector or segment, if you, if, you, if you want to call it that, they're still profitable to end, um, if you do it right, uh, as a bank. Um, but uh, there are many, many, many more pitfalls involved. Um, so from a bank's perspective, um, they, they like the idea, uh, and because in any case you will grow with this company, you want to see it grow, so you will forgive some of the mistakes that they go through, uh, and they do go through quite a bit. Um, uh, during economic downtimes, they're, 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 they're one of the sectors you want to stay away from, right? Yes. <laughs> but but um, the ones that do grow are very richly rewarding for the, for the lender. Do you think uh, it's important for small businesses to come up with business plans? Do you think it's something that banks would consider other than collateral? For the average American business person, by the time they're going into business, the business plan is second nature for them. But for us here, uh, even for accomplished businesses, you'll find that they, they, they typically don't have uh, elaborate business plans that they believe in and they want to implement. And the reason for that is, for that is, is simple. 
the business plan is what dictates what how your balance sheet should look like. If you are doing more of trade, trade, trading, you'll probably need trade finance more than anything else. That's short-term funding. If you are doing, um, if 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 you have got uh, machinery that you are, you know, especially manufacturers, then you need a lot, lot equity involved. If your business takes a long time to take off, right? You also need more equity than that. So a business plan. A, a, a realistic one that, that captures the way you are going to and are likely to do business going forward is very important because it tells you how your financial strategy should be. Other than, other than the, the, the simple products that you mentioned or in terms of LC, what other products uh, do you think uh, uh, would uh, attract small businesses? I'm talking about uh, uh, products such as invoice discounting, uh, LP financing. I like Kenya Space uh, because there are a lot of, you know, products being developed for different types of people. Uh, if you are if you're Muslim and you want to be Sharia Sharia compliant, there are products for that. There are products for short term funding with with um, uh, erratic cash flows. There are products for for long term funding with stable cash flows. So all these products are developed uh, towards towards uh, um, you know, funding businesses, but um, I think the most important thing is to state your case first. And then again, this brings another dynamic. Um, the bigger banks have got very standardized products. That's when you to start talking about LCs and, you know, because they're very standard, so you just have a department that does that such and, and, you know, that's how they do business. Smaller banks are a little bit more uh, flexible. We, we, they're able to come up with products uh, on the go um, and, and, and service uh, through either combinations of basic products uh, or, or use of um, capital market players. And that's why, for example, ABC, ABC Capital has set up a, uh, a corporate finance desk to assist uh, entrepreneurs access funding and we work sometimes from time, from time to time with banks. So we are able to harness uh, the power of both banking and the capital markets to secure funding. So to, to speak to your question, there are, there are many products that, that, that are, are being developed, will be, de uh, will be developed and have been developed. And they're really just combinations of basic products. Uh, and they're doing that to, so that we can you know, uh, integrate with the, the, the entrepreneur very well so that uh, we, we do a product that, that they need uh, more than the ones, uh, ones that we want to sell. Do you think uh, banks, uh, different banks have different uh, business model in the sense that a bank, a bank would specialize in a particular area? Let's say, for example, um, a bank would be set up to deal with housing. In, in the Kenyan case, we have housing finance. Yeah. And we have NSE bank that is specialized in uh, in uh, asset finance. Do you think, uh, as an entrepreneur, that is something they need to consider in terms of uh, going to the right financial institution that is actually set out to, to actually assist? Uh, that is true. Uh, I've, I've, I've worked with people who, you know, prefer to stay away from the, the bigger banks because the, the access to I mean, flexibility is limited. I know people who want to stay with the bigger banks because they're more stable. So it's a needs thing. And that's why uh, co um, competition is important because everybody then can, can sit in their niche and do whatever they do and do it very well. So if you, people who understand housing, housing market is a bit complex, it has its own dynamics, like you rightly said, housing finance uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, KCB have a mortgage unit as well. And new new banks have set up the mortgage units, and they're catching on. Um, trade fund, trade finance, a very interesting area as well. SMEs, another very interesting area. Um, exports, imports, uh, development banking. Um, now we have investment banking that that really brings almost brings everybody together on the table uh, as as the need arises. So you're very right. Uh, 
the, the competency of your, of your financial partner is important. Because if they are incapable of giving you um, a product that you need, uh, there could be mismatches that could re result in, in business failure going forward. Uh, simply because for one reason or another, maybe your interest costs are too high, or your interest costs um, I mean, you're being de they're being demanded when your cash flows are not available. So all this, all this matters.